Hello Youtubers, I'm Parwis and this is our 29th video in Qt5 C++ GUI application development. In the previous video we have learned how you can connect your Qt5 application with MySQL database and in this video I'm going to show you how you can connect your Qt application with SQLite. So SQLite is a lightweight uh, database and uh, it's mostly used for development. When you're going to do a production application, uh, you need to use MySQL database or another kind of databases. So now I'm going to create a file, new file or project, Qt widget application, and I'm going to call it SQLite connection, and click on next, next, and finish. Okay, after this now my uh, project is created, I'm going to open the form and I want to add a push button in here. So just change the name to SQLite 3 connection. And let me change the size of this button and okay. Uh, before this, I'm using SQLite Studio, so I want to create a database, add a database, and I'm going to choose SQLite 3 database, and then here, I want to add the, okay, for example, I want to add, uh, save my DB in the DB folder, I'm going to call it my uh, db.sqlite and click on save uh, after this click on OK so now my database is created uh, right now I don't have tables for this but if you want you can uh, add table let me connect to the database and you can see you can add uh, create tables you can uh, do every kind of uh, stuff in uh, SQLite studio for creating SQLite database so after creating this, now if I open my DB folder, you can see I have mysqldb.sqlite. Now I'm going to open my Qt5 framework, Cl right click on your push button, go to slot, click and OK. O OK, now in the header file first I need to, OK, first in the dot profile, I need to add SQL and save it save all after this open your header file uh, let me just okay now I have opened my header file first I need to include uh, Qt SQL and I need uh, uh, QSQL database QSQL database also I need a uh, Q message box okay now in the main window.cpp and where we have created our slot on push button click you can see and here I'm going to create a QSQL database object and I call it SQLite DB and QSQL database add database and here we are going to add our database engine in the previous video we have added QMySQL because uh, we have used MySQL database in here we are going to use SQLite you need to add QSQLite like this QSQLite after creating your SQLite DB now we are going to uh, SQLite, we are going to add our database dot uh, set database name and our database name is you need to add your full path in here first of all let me uh, create uh, or you can add it in here or you can create a variable in here so you can right click and in here this is my database path and I want to add it in here sorry like this change this to forward slashes and like this and now add your uh, database name so mydb.sqlite mydb.sqlite 
Now we are going to uh, check our connection. If not d uh, SQLite DB dot open. If it is not open and it's not connected, we are going to give a queue message box information message box the parent is this and the title is not connected and the text is mm, database not connected like this okay else if it is connected we need to add another queue message box dot information this and connect it database is connected successfully so now uh, this is our complete code let me run it and you will see we have an error so why because in here uh, sorry like make it like this so now let me run it again and I'm waiting for this okay now this is our application uh, let me click on SQLite 3 connection you can see database is connected successfully ok for some reason uh, if I change the for example I change this uh, remove this user uh, I change the path and like this because in here I don't have any database and if I run it again and I'm waiting for this now if I click on SQLite 3 connection you can see database not connected because we don't have any SQLite database in there uh, thank you guys if you have any question please let me know uh, and for the further videos subscribe to the channel and also share and like the videos